the government is making new efforts to help homeowners who face foreclosure. The goal is to assist up to 4 million mortgage holders. So how exactly do you qualify? Jill Schlesinger, editor-at-large of CBSMoneyWatch.com, is back. Our financial guru. Good morning, Jill. Good to see you again. Good morning. Um, hey, before we start, we should mention the, the Case-Shiller Housing Index that's going to come out this morning, expected to show a slight decline again in housing prices today? Yes, and prices are not coming up very fast, and that's part of the concern of the government, one of the impetus that really brought this program about. Okay, so this program, uh, how much will it help these people? 11 million mortgages now underwater? Yeah, one out of five mortgages is underwater, meaning you owe more than your house is worth. And so the government was very concerned that we have an estimated 4 million more foreclosures that are in the pipeline. We've only modified about 170,000 loans. So the government says, we got to do something. Here's how we're going to do something. We are going to let people who qualify try to change the terms of their current loan. And here's how you qualify. Has to be for your primary residence, your home, right? No vacation homes, no rentals. Primary residence. You can more. You have. A, you have to have a mortgage that's within the jumbo conforming. So up to about seven hundred thirty thousand dollars, depending on your area. It cannot be an FHA loan because the FHA is going to actually refinance this. You've got to document your income. And you've got to have a credit score of at least 500. Now, assuming you have all of that, here's the catch. Your existing lender has to agree to do this. You're relying on the kindness of bankers. They're such kind people. Oh, absolutely. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful, lovely, generous people. Indeed. There's clearly a lot involved. Are there other parts to the plan beyond just the refinancing? Yeah, because the refinancing is big and the banks may lop off a, a big chunk of your principal in the refinancing. But if you don't qualify, there are some other things. Number one, the government is going to help you make a short sale or a deed in lieu sale. This is confusing. A short sale is you get permission from your bank to sell your house for less than what's outstanding on the mortgage. A deed in lieu is you sign a document that says to the bank, here, you take the house, release me from my mortgage. The bank's going to pay, uh, the bank has to pay the difference and absorb it. The government, however, is going to pay you 3000 bucks to do that. Here's my question. The people who are underwater, who are still paying their mortgage and making those payments on time every month, or at least making very good efforts to do so, and they say, what, what's in this for me? You know, I hear a lot from these folks. Every time I come on here and do a housing story, I get a lot of emails. And the answer to this is, look, we can't be so moralist about this. We know we're happy that a whole bunch of people are on time with their mortgages. However, nobody wants to see foreclosures. Foreclosures are bad for all of us. We should be rooting to prevent foreclosure. This is a way to maintain the value of our real estate. Let's get through this. Let's move on. Good point. All right. So the uh, goddess of expertise, as one blogger called her, Jill Schlesinger, <laughs> this morning. Jill, thank you very much. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.